What's up boys and girls, this is Medallion here and here is another update video. I wanted to keep you guys informed about what's going on over here and uh, just what my channel is going to be doing moving forward now that School of Dragons is closed. So I guess first things first, um, I'm still planning on uploading to my YouTube channel here. I was kind of uh, split between using Kaiser the Sneak and Medallion as kind of my brand name and everything, but I'm officially switching over to using Medallion, so going forward most of my game usernames and stuff will just be Medallion. I wanted to get the Medallion at Medallion handle, but apparently it's taken, um, although I can't find anywhere where that's actually a channel. So unless it's like a private channel or something I can't access, I don't know. So I have to be under at Medallion YT. But maybe if you guys subscribe and like this video and I get big enough, um, I can actually get the at Medallion, which I'd really appreciate. So if you haven't subscribed and like, I would really appreciate that. So I don't see a lot of future in School of Dragons just because it's closed down now and the private version doesn't really seem to be of the same level. I have a few more videos of School of Dragons that I wanted to post, just some kind of finishing videos. I've been continuing to do some Aura Kingdom uh, videos, still playing that game. Um, I'm kind of looking for other uh, games in the future to be playing, so we'll see maybe even some uh, in-person, in-real-life content. That'd be kind of fun, but... Uh, we'll just see where we're going from there. So as far as School of Dragon is concerned, one of School of Dragon's uh, biggest YouTubers, Silver Willowing, posted a video where she supposedly talked with one of the uh, employees for Jumpstart, and they said it was mainly an issue of mismanagement, um, and that's why School of Dragon's closed, it just wasn't making enough money. Um, I obviously don't know if that's true or not, um, I'm just taking her word for it, but... Assuming she's trustworthy, that kind of seems like a, a, a fairly obvious thing to happen. So there has been some work over the last years to make a private version of it, to recreate it. And it really hasn't, had, didn't get anywhere just because it was like one or two people that were working on it and they were busy with their other stuff in their life. But ever since School of Dragons closed down, they've just been working really, really hard on it. So apparently there is a Project Edge coming up. And they actually already got some servers up and they were actually hosting the game. So you, you can, you could and can. Uh, play School of Dragons now on this these servers. We just got an update from Project Ed saying that those live servers are being closed down actually, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, so they're working on making a locally hosted version, which I'm assuming will mean only it's only single player. Um, I know I played a few other games where they were able, the fans were able to recreate it in a locally hosted environment where you could also uh, have other friends know your your IP address or whatever and play along with you. But I'm just not planning on doing that, even if that is one of the things which I'm not convinced that that is what they're going to be doing on the game. But even if it is that way, um, I'm just not foreseeing myself playing any more School of Dragons. It's really sad. I love School of Dragons so much, but um, just how it is now, I, you know, I'm just not really sure. Especially since these are fans that are making it, and there have been some rumors going around about some stuff that makes me a little worried about just the security there, installing games and stuff that I that aren't from a reputable source that don't, you know, there really isn't any legal uh, stuff I can do about it. So I'm just a little nervous to uh, be playing a game that I don't really know much about who's creating it, and I can't look through the code enough to know if it's, like, actually dangerous. And I don't think it is. It, there hasn't been any issues with that as far as I have heard, but there are some rumors going around that makes me a little bit nervous. Um, so we'll see where that goes. I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date if uh, anything interesting happens with Project Edge. But I'm not going to link it down below just because of the safety concerns I uh, aforementioned. We'll just see where that goes from there. Another interesting thing going on is there is apparently a live action How to Train Your Dragon in the works, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, I just don't see any way that this How to Train Your Dragon live action can be any better than the original animated version. Like, I just don't see any universe where that could possibly be true. Um, there is a possibility that it could be an okay movie or even a good movie. I'm just a little worried about it. I just feel like to live up to the hype and the lore that has gone on in the animated version, um, I just feel like that'd be really hard to to kind of do. But we'll see. I mean, it's possible. They have Dean Dubois doing it, so it's possible. Um, certainly better than The Nine Realms. Like, I don't think you could do any worse than The Nine Realms, to be honest. But I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. So we'll just go on from there. All right, so I guess that's all I really want to say. If you guys have a game that you want me to play or you have some good ideas for videos that you would like to see in the future, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, party on.